Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I want to talk to you about adding pods to tubes, um, just like this. We're going to add these external pods to the tube, and one of the things on this rocket is the ejection charge goes through a hole into here and then pushes the nose cone off so that all the ejection charges go into the tube. Now to do that, I've already cut a slot in the tube like this. And if you need help on cutting slots in the tubes, um, go onto the Apogee website and there's a video there on slotting tubes for through the wall fins. The technique is exactly the same, so I won't cover that here. Um, I've also gone ahead and drawn a line where my tubes are going to be aligned like that. Um, so I've done it on both tubes. Now one of the things that's hard to do and I'm going to line up these two uh, cutouts because I want the ejection charge to go through. And I'm not going to put the nose cone on yet. Um, but it's, it's hard to line these up because you can't see the line on the tube. So here's the first trick I want to show you. And that is to take a pencil. And you always want to use a pencil uh, because um, you don't want the ink to bleed through the paint. But I'm going to use a pen because it's a little easier to see. Um, and what you want to do is to bring the line around the outside of the tube. I don't know if you can see that. And then onto the inside of the tube. And that is right there. So now I have it on the inside of the tube as well as on the outside of the tube. And I want to do that on both ends. So bring it across the, the front end and then bring it on the inside like that. And the reason for this is now when we put the two tubes together, I can align that tick mark there with that tube and then the one on the back end to this tube here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it and I'm going to use super glue just because it's a little quicker. So I've got a bead of glue along the tube. And then I'm going to, first I'm going to align my slots, get them in the right spot, and then I'm going to align this tick mark here on the front, and then the one on the back. And I'm looking down the tube just to double check. All right, just like that. And that super glue will kick off in a couple of seconds and then it'll be nice and tight. And you would do the same on the other side. Um, and then the next trick is if you can see in here close, between the two tubes there's a gap. And the ejection charge is going to try to get out that gap so it's got to be sealed. Now a lot of people will tell you just to use a fillet. But uh, a better trick is just to take a piece of paper and this is like index card paper and you're going to cut a little wedge and you want it to be you want it to be wider than the slot like that so I cut that and then we're going to fold it in half just like that and I'm going to take some glue and this time I'm going to use uh, some just wood glue. And I want to smear that around so that all the paper is covered. And have some paper towels available. And then we're going to take that and again make sure that it's in a little L shape and we're going to put that in there and I've got a piece of uh, balsa wood here and I've gone ahead and beveled both edges so I got kind of like a little razor sharp edge there and I'm just going to use that to push it in there and then I'm also pushing down the sides so that it's nice and tight. So I'm going to do that on the other side as well. And then if I have another tube right here, I would do that there too. 
and you want that nice and tight in there. And now I can just run a bead of glue just to seal that, just that little tiny little corner right there and there. So that is how you would add an external pod to a tube. My name again is Tim Van Milligan. If you're watching this video on YouTube, come to the Apogee Components website and subscribe to our newsletter. I've got a free gift for you just for subscribing. And that will give you a notification not only on these videos, but also on our newsletter as well. So every time we come out with a new newsletter or video, you'll get an email. And you also get some updates on other items that are going on at Apogee Components. So again, this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.